Hello everyone. So I am going to give a brief introduction about the course which I am offering in NPTEL platform that is RNA biology. And all of you who have studied science in some stage in your life would have been fascinated with this big question, how life originated on this planet earth. And we all know there is no clear cut answer to it. And we also know that lots of uh, research agencies all over the world searching for extraterrestrial life. Uh, life here we define something similar to what we have in this planet earth and life need not necessarily look the same uh, as we have here and we will often get baffled by this question that how life originated we all know that there are plenty of planets in this universe which are all quite dry some of them have got water etc but we don't have life forms in this current form as we have in this planet earth so this is a big question which we all have and this course will try to address and answer to this uh, baffling question how life originated i can give a clue that rna molecule can hold the key for the origin of life on this planet earth although we can only assume because none of us can go back in time and understand how life originated how different forms of life evolved etc but do we have evidence can we gather information from the current world, current modern world and can we make use of some organisms and can we dig the evidences to support that how life originated on this planet earth. Not only that, we also need to understand how life forms are functioning, how efficiently life forms are functioning starting from a single cell zygote to multicellular complex organism. And understanding this will give a beautiful idea into your mind and you will start appreciating a beautiful idea into your mind that life is not as simple as we assume. Different molecules interplay each other and RNA molecule holds one of the most important keys to the functioning of life on earth. Starting from virus, all of you would have heard about this uh, COVID outbreak which is nothing but an RNA virus and you may have heard about this HIV virus which is also an RNA virus. So we can assume that RNA is present starting from virus till human and it is very important in controlling the gene expression. We also need to understand if any aberrant functioning of RNA takes place and abnormal behavior of an RNA takes place this all can lead to very complex situations such as disease such as Duchenne muscular dystrophy which is due to an RNA splicing disorder. So we should understand that various functioning of a given cell throughout the lifespan of an organism RNA contribute a major role. RNA is important moiety controlling the overall dynamics and functioning of a given cell. And not only that, we often end up getting some questions why a given uh, sibling, uh, given parent sibling, sibling 1, sibling 2, they have totally different behavior. And we also know that even identical twins, they behave completely different. One may end up getting a debilitating condition, whereas the other is not. This often can be answered by certain RNA modifications because a given gene is expressed in the form of RNA, but it need not necessarily be modified in a given way in one organism. So this post transcriptional modification also can hold the key to the functioning of that gene. So this can make an organism vulnerable to a disease or this organism is quite resistant to a disease. So this course we will address various aspects of RNA biology, how an RNA is being formed and how that RNA is being regulated at multiple levels and how this given RNA is destabilized. We have to understand one important thing. As important as an RNA is to be present in a cell for a gene expression even, equally important is its destability, destability or making the molecule degraded. Both has to be controlled in a stringent manner. If this fails, then the overall functioning of the cell and the organism becomes affected. So in this course, we will understand and we will try to address the various aspects of RNA biology and I hope this course will give enough depth to your already existing understanding of the molecular biology and this will further your knowledge into RNA biology in specific manner. Thank you.